Hello, my friends. In the Smuggling Project, I am building the M923 Hillbilly gun truck, but in a zombie apocalypse scenario, in scale 1 to 35 from Italy. I am calling it the Beast. The following project is inspired by real and imaginary events. Here we are. It is the time that we are going to transform the hillbilly into the beast. It will be modified for a zombie apocalypse scenario after all. Beast, it is. Attention. Keep always in mind that after gluing, painting, etc., to let things dry. Starting from the back of the truck here, we'll create shields for the wheels on both sides of the trucks. By the way, I do like my new cutting mat. A mirite? I will use a very thin styrene sheet of 0.25 millimeters. Marking and cutting at 9 by 2.5 centimeters. Done off camera and also prepared these styrene L shaped beams with their angles at 3 by 3 millimeters. PVA gluing, and we'll finish off camera. Done, and also cut here, in order to be able to better attach on the truck. Using this metal foil of 0.2 millimeters, we'll create some windows barrier guards. Prepare the window frame off camera and the bars that I will use to create the barrier guards. Super gluing and we'll finish off camera. First barrier guard is done. Prepared this passenger seat window guard, rivet tool, and rivet sink.
It is in factory-like in quality, since the zombie apocalypse survivors were not professionals, and they were under stress because of the zombie attacks. Driver's window guard now. Super gluing this net. Cut the excess net. Off camera, attaching a few bars. With this balsa wood of 8 by 3.5 centimeters, we'll create a zombie plow. Already marked, so I can cut it in the middle. Also, we'll remove those bottom marked corners, cutting and smoothing things out. Done off camera and prepared these balsa wood and metal foil pieces to attach on the plow for blades and spikes illusion, super gluing. Attach these two braces and we'll place it on truck, off camera, like so. We'll place this leftover turret from another kit up here to the passenger seat side, where I already marked with a circle. Of course, I will attach a gun as well. We'll do it off camera using this magical tool. Testing its placement seems good. Combining with the hatch that I will leave open. Also, placing this custom shield. Once again, prepared styrene, L-shaped beams of 9 by 3 centimeters, in order to create an items holder that will be placed here. The zombie apocalypse survivors will be using it supposedly for valuable materials, equipment, etc., gluing like so. Off camera, added a tool net, as well as braces below the holder. Done off camera with the pillars of the items holder. Let me show you how I will place it later on. Using this leftover piece from another kit, we'll go for a rear bumper with blades and spikes illusion. Gluing.
done off camera. Let me show you how I will place it later on. Back to the wheel shields and attaching some blades too. This beast doesn't just zombie plows its way around, but decimates them zombies. Primer airbrushing. Silver metallic airbrushing. Repeating the same for these plastic toothpicks, but only on their tips. I regretted what I did, and off camera, airbrushed everything with old rust. I like it so much more this way. Keep on airbrushing the rest.
medium rust mixed with little bit of Venetian red pigment, and painting with a little sponge, but I am not particularly ring, if at all. Repeating the same process, but with light rust. Iron oxide pigment and brush painting. Did a very light black wash and super gluing the wheel shields. The same with the zombie plow. Passenger seat window guard. Driver's window guard. Passenger seat side window guard. Rear bumper. The items holder needs some more careful placement. Did some black wash on the turret. We'll attach this gun that I prepared off camera with bullets for enhanced detail. Since it doesn't have a proper slot, super gluing, like so. plastic toothpicks, repainted their tips with old rust. We'll attach as many of their tips on the beast, for blades and spikes illusion in various sizes, here and there.
prepared the styrene that shaped beam. In order to wrap around some barbed wire, in scale 1 to 35, cut the wire off camera, and using this hobby knife, will wrap around the wire, like so. Super gluing. Old rust painting. Prepared few extra items and others from past projects, such as barrels, container boxes, jerrycans, etc. Off camera, super gluing. Hopefully you like the project, and you will enjoy the presentation. Since I am a new to this amazing art, please do share your words of wisdom in the comments below.
Hit the like, subscribe, and notifications bell buttons. This way, together, we can grow a community around the exciting art of scale modeling. Stay tuned for more scale modeling videos. Thanks for watching.